Yo guys, what is up? Today I'm here to do my review of episode 3 of Visual Prison and we were introduced to the new character. We actually saw him from episode 2 but we got his name. His name is Robin and bro I could instantly say Robin is an instant fave. Like this dude, he's very straightforward. He goes for what he wants. If he wants answers, he's going to get his answers. If he has to bulldoze his way through, then he's going to do that. But this episode was very straightforward and it was something I don't think any of us was expecting from Robin's character. So we come to find out he's from London. Once he came to Japan, he instantly heard um and singing. And so in right then and there, those two just started to have a very friendly uh, talk with each other instantly becoming friends like that's the type of person Robin is it's like he has this type of personality where you're instantly drawn to so it's not too hard for you to become friends with this guy because he's very interesting he's very positive thinking um, very uh, motivated so this is the type of dude that gives you positive vibes so you want him to be around you so him and Ange are already just you know singing just humming with each other singing harmony and all that stuff come to find out he himself is also a composer and conductor and he does classical music so he came all the way to japan i don't know for ex they didn't really explain the exact reason why he was in japan but he was there and he heard and singing so and tried to like you say yo come come live with me out um come live with me because you don't got no place to stay but unfortunately since Ange is part vampire he's a vampire and the whole rule set by the scarlet moon that humans and vampires can't really coexist uh robin is easily kicked out come to find out there's a live underground concert with lost eden and then robin is like i know that dude in the poster so what he does is he goes and he barges into the wardrobe room and then he looks at uh Jack the one that I said yo he was kind of weird the small the small one who has black hair he's like you're my big brother I know that voice I know that look you are my big brother I'm like whoa 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 hold on slow your roll how is Jack his brother Jack is a vampire Robin is a human. Wait, what is going on? I am so confused. And Jack is just like, I don't know this guy. He's an imposter. Get him out. Get him out. So they get kicked out. And well, no, they didn't they did get kicked out, but then they're brought back in. And then we have it where they start to explain the relationship between Robin and Jack. So both of them are actually twins. Born same day, same parents, all that jazz. They are they are twins they probably look more like fraternal twins if anything and come to find out they used to be part of a choir in like a church but as you know regular humans grow so the more they were growing we had it where jack's voice was becoming deeper and he became jealous of Robin because he was favored. He said he was favored by God. He was favored by God's people. So he was becoming more jealous of that. And the more jealous he became of that, he was like, man, I just want you to be gone. I want to kill you because you're taking everything that I want. He became jealous of his brother's talent, you know? So he was holding that grudge and come to find out this all happened 10 years prior to the storyline so these two are probably i don't know in their late teens early 20s because when all of this happened they were kids they were kids come to find out jack became a vampire due to saga so saga is his vampire parent he's the prerogator for jack so Jack became um, entranced by Saga and wanted him to turn him into a vampire. So he was entranced by the devil, you know, and he was this close to killing his brother. But he said, nah, I still love you. So he just up and left. So we had it where Robin was searching for his older brother for 10 years. Imagine one day you and your brother is mad cool. You guys grew up 
fine you guys are close and then the next day you don't see your brother anymore you guys have been searching they've been searching for him for a decade he comes to find him and finds out he's no longer human because he was still small he was still the same height sound the same as he did 10 years prior so you can imagine and robin's mind is just like yeah i have my brother but my brother still looks the same and how much years has passed so he was just like well what happened i just want my big brother back so they had a moment where jack is like okay I'm going to change you into a vampire because Robin is like, if I can't have my big brother back in anything, I'd rather die, you know, because you mean everything to me. You, you're, you're, you're my family. I love you. And if we can't be a family anymore, life is not worth it. So you can obviously tell he cherishes his big brother a lot. So of course it was singing. And then we had where Jack turned Robin into a vampire, but what was interesting was because of the rules set by the Scarlet Moon, it caused a crack in Jack's heart. So that is very interesting because after he turned Robin, which I guess is somewhat against the rules, whatever the rules that's set by the Scarlet Moon, he wasn't supposed to do that because remember, Jack was turned by Saga and most likely Saga is a true vampire unless he has someone that changed him. That's only if the anime goes that far, which I cannot say because this is like anime original. But if anything, we can just say for now, unless told otherwise, that that Saga is a true vampire. So therefore he is the prerogator or parent to Jack. And then Jack changed his brother where he had no rights to do so because he wasn't acknowledged by the scarlet moon so that went against the rules causing that crack that immense pain in his crystallized heart and so when you saw by the end of the episode because then after that happened it, it glossed over to show everything was fine uh robin is now a vampire he doesn't question it usually in most shows if someone is turned into a monster they have an ex uh, internal crisis about their identity of like yo now i'm a monster i'm no longer human i can't interact with humans but robin's like i'm a vampire now i'm just like my older brother i'm like bro this had to be the most chillest dude like something serious just happened to you, you cannot die you're immortal bro you can't age no more but so long as i could be with my brother for eternity i'm fine what yo bro robin is mad because <laughs> if i was in his position i would start freaking out i would start freaking, but robin really that tells you he really loves his brother He's been missing his brother for a decade and finally now they can be together even though Jack says he belongs to Saga. He can't really be with his brother because he's practically owned by Saga. But Saga, the thing is, as we saw a little bit, even though he wants to change the rules of the Scarlet Moon and the ritual, which is visual prison, it seems to show that he does care for his comrades for his peers so he tells jack you know do whatever you want so in a way he's like saying you can hang out with your brother you can be with your brother it's your life what you want to do with it is up to you i have no say in it so i i guess that's like a point for saga we need to really see more of his character but other than that i did not expect this episode to be like that i did not expect to to see that we have actual brothers who were separated due to one's jealousy and one so willing to turn into the a night creature like a creature of the night like that that is so weird usually when you see characters do that it's only to obtain power not for the sake of like being near someone that they love and cherish that they're willing to change into something that many people fear so that's a nice change of the usual of the of the cliche if you will but um nonetheless this was a good episode so now we have it where robin is now going to cooperate with edge and he's like you know that symbol that you got from the scarlet moon which is uh translate to oz why don't you make a band i'll join you 
so you can compete in this ritual. And I'm like, bro, you already got your first band member. This man is mad cool. Like, yo, you gotta love Robin. Um, and most likely following it will be Eve. And then once, you know, Gil gets the stick out of his butt and realizes, bro, you, you can sing, you know, you, you let it all out. Do it through song. That's the whole point. Get your feelings out. Then we'll have the band Oz and then we're going to have the true battle of the bands and see who wins this harvest, this ritual by the end of this season. So that being said, do tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. Tell me, did you expect that to see that Jack actually had a brother? I don't think any of us were expecting. We didn't even think that Jack had anyone that was related to him, given like how he acts. But hey, Robin is here and he's here to save for good. Um, do tell me your thoughts for next week's episode. And also check out the links in the description box. I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends Podcast. Have a good morning. Good afternoon and good night. And I will see you guys later. Bye.